In this lesson, we are going to create select payment screen. What we're gonna do is to implement a screen like this. And when user click on pay here, we show a UI to help user to make the payment through their credit card in the pin pad, in the you know hardware of this app. And when user click on complete order, we'll be redirected to the final screen. That's the topic of next lesson. Let's implement this feature together. Here is the plan to create select payment screen. What we're gonna do is to create a new file in a screens folder. Set file name to select payment screen.js. In this screen, type RFC and press tab to create a React functional component. And inside that, create a box like this. It's very similar to the screen that we have created in previous lesson for review a screen. So here we have box from material UI and we have style from use styles. And the user styles is coming from styles.js save it and the next step is gonna be and the next step is gonna be creating the main box inside main box put a logo and the logo is coming from component folder here and the next step is the title of this screen right after logo put a typography and import it select payment method here we are going to show two options for user. So create another box. And for the first box, create a card for the first option. Import it and create a card action area set on click to select handler. We need to implement select handler later. Let's import card action area inside that put an image using card media and the image address is gonna be slash images pay here pay here that png is the image that we are going to is it's like an icon that uh, stands for pay here so what i'm gonna do is to just copy pay here and add counter icon to the public folder inside images. This one is pay here, and this one is add counter. You can find those images in the Git repository of this project. Let's save it to format your code. I'm using Prettier to format my code. You can install it in your VS code. It's time to show a card content. In the card content that is going to be imported from git repository we put a text as pay here the next step is very similar to this one we are going to create another option let's duplicate the card like this and for the second option change it add counter here here and the caption here after having this we implemented this screen and it's time to implement event handler for click on pay here or add counter. Let's introduce this right before return. Here is the body of select handler function. Inside this, we are going to set payment type and pass dispatch and payment method. For set payment type, we need to create an action inside actions.js. Let's define it. Open actions. At the very end, define select payment method that accept dispatch and payment type. And inside that, we are going to dispatch this action. Type is order set payment type and the payload is payment type. Let's define it. Go to constant and export const order set payment type to the same string let's import it here 
and go to select payment type and import select payment type from src slash actions to get this patch we need to use use context let's get it at the very beginning of select payment screen component import use context from react and import store from store.js here great next step go to store.js and let's define a reducer for select payment in the initial state for order set payment type to pay here it's the uh, default payment type and then create a case in the reducer right after set order type let's set order set payment type let's import it and what we do here is to keep state as it is and in the order we update the payment type based on the data that user entered in the payload let's go back to select payment screen at this point we need to add this screen to app.js open it duplicate a road and change it to select payment and change the component to select payment screen from select payment screen is in a screens folder let's save it and refresh great we have two options select payment type pay here or add counter when user click on pay here let's finish the event handler for them in the select payment screen after dispatching this action it's time to check payment type if it's pay here we need to redirect user to the payment screen otherwise we redirect user to the complete screen that's the topic of next lesson for props let's import it as a parameter for select payment screen component and let's see what we have here if i click on pay here i get redirected to payment screen in this screen we are going to just show a loading and just uh, mimic the behavior of uh, payment here uh, if you are going to implement this feature in a real world project in this screen you need to connect to the payment device and accept credit card there let's implement just the ui of it what i'm gonna do in this step is to right click and new file and set file name to payment screen.js type rfc tab to create this component and inside the return part let's create a navi here create another box inside that and then create the inner box then use logo from component folder and typography to show this message please follow the instruction on the pin pad and then put a circular progress at the end we need to show a complete order button like this save it and let's import them box logo typography circular progress from material ui and button from material ui also props is coming from the parameter of payment screen for styles like before let's define it as a use styles from src slash styles.js let's save it and add this screen to app.js like this payment payment a screen imported like this also in the select payment scroll down to find this and change this one to add counter oops let's fix the issue with user style it's a function 
and by having this let's check the result here i select pay here and i get redirected to please follow the instruction on the pin pad and if i click on complete order i get redirected to the complete screen which is the topic of the next lesson so let's review what we did we created the select payment screen we have two options for user the pay here uh, accept uh, you know just connect to the pin pad to get the credit card info to make the payment and at counter just redirect user to the complete page if user select pay here the user will be redirected to this screen and user need to enter the pin pad and it's out of topic of this lesson we just created the ui for it okay that's it about this lesson for next lesson we focus on complete the order and to create an order in the backend and show the order number to the user until next lesson bye bye